Okay guys, so I just cut up one big potato. Like you can see these potatoes aren't, I pretty much cut up a potato that was like almost twice the size. So I cut up like one big russet potato, a white potato, whatever you wanna call it. And sometimes like I will soak these in water to kind of let them get the starch out and make sure that they're crispy. But today I'm trying to do a 30 minute meal. I'm trying to be a little bit quick. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and just pat them but I'm kind of going to be like pretty thorough and try to kind of press on every little potato wedge that i have to really soak out you see how you're going to see how you see the all the water all the starch coming out try to press on every one And get the starch out okay guys so i have the potatoes in my bowl i'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil usually i would use olive oil but you know i'm not buying avocado oil. i'm not buying olive oil for this it's like ten dollars so a little bit of avocado oil doesn't really matter what oil you use ideally olive oil because we are baking usually i use avocado oil for frying for like high heat because it can sustain high heat it has a high smoking point but is also not as bad fat in it to use for cooking so i like to suggest this for my cardiac patients to use avocado oil as a replacement for frying everyone knows about olive oil olive oil yeah it's good oil but olive oil does not have a high spooky point point. and then the pepper we're going to do a good little shake i actually like a lot of pepper on my fries and stuff onion powder just a little bit of onion powder just because we can't, I don't really have time to um, saute some onions to put with these. But if you have time to saute some onions, then skip the onion powder and just saute some onions. And put the onions with it. And then next we have a garlic powder. Go and sprinkle a good amount of this. And give a good shake. Then I'm going to add a little bit of heat to my pepper. So we'll use some cayenne pepper. And honestly, with the cayenne, I kind of just want to do one side. But I don't want it to be too spicy. It'd be like, oh, it's overbearing and not like seasoned. Oh, let me show you. Yeah, I don't want it to be like overbearing and like, not feel like a season is just hot. Like, just because it's hot, don't mean it's seasoned. Okay, so I have the oven set to 425, already preheated. I'm gonna add some more olive oil just to the pan so they don't, the wedges don't stick. Okay, so we're gonna go and place them in the oven. Okay guys, so I have these Morningstar Farms grillers. I usually get like the black bean, um, like spicy black bean burger, which I know is pretty popular. But they didn't have that, so this is what I got. I'm gonna put it in away from me. Okay, it's gonna pop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Um, today is just gonna be a little quick food session with some quick, like easy, pretty much like weekday meals you can make. Um, this is just a I guess veggie because it's a cheeseburger because this is real cheese <laughs> a veggie cheeseburger um and it has pickles because i'm sorry i like pickles and then american cheese and also ketchup and mustard in there and then i have some of my potato wedges which i showed you how i made them to get these nice little you know grill marks on them and I'm gonna definitely add some ketchup. I love little saucers like this, like this is so cute. And my crazy nephew that stole one of my saucers, I know you stole it. I, I want it back, just because principle, but <laughs> whatever, family, you know? So my little saucer ketchup and my nice little grilled potato wedge. You can see how I season them, a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne powder, cayenne pepper powder. So good. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so the wedges are definitely spicy. So if you watch my video and follow that recipe, you're gonna know it's spicy. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Some Netflix movies that I recently watched that I really, really like and want to share. Number one would probably be The Equalizer. I did not see that movie when it first came out. Not in the theaters. <laughs> But I heard that it was good. So it was kind of like always on my to-do list to watch. Just never got to watch it. <clears throat> but I just like how Denzel in that movie, of course he's an amazing actor. Literally one of the best actors of my To me, my lifetime, one of the best actors of my lifetime. So, for him to take on that role, play it so well, to the point where I'm almost convinced that he's like similar to the character, but not in a like menacing way, but just he just may be similar to the character in some ways. And him just executing the role. It was just like amazing. I just feel like Denzel was casted for that role because he could mentally play that role and he mentally played that role well. Okay, so besides the equalizer, definitely a must watch. Also, um, a simple favor really good movie in my opinion um i just think it's a nice mystery type of thriller type of like movie and it's like stuff that is it, the the plot seems a little bizarre but at the end of the day it's also things that all those things in the plot could happen and literally could be true about you and you just don't know how much your parents seem to share with you about life before you and during your pregnancy. The past couple movies I've been watching on Netflix have been pretty good. Um, I mentioned those two. I think it was the third one. Um. Okay, and for dessert, I have Fun Pops. Now, all these flavors, all these flavors, I don't know about, but I've been eating the original ones since I was like literally a kid. All right, so I do like that they're not like super big because you don't always want like a lot every time you eat something. Oh, you're gonna like a quick little snack. It's a quick little snack. Yeah. It's so refreshing. Oh my god. When I've tried the the red, white, and blue freeze pops from Walmart. Believe me, I tried to save money. They don't taste like this. The whole stick just tastes like lemon. This, I taste the blue. Lemon. And cherry. Oh, pretty good. Pretty All good. right, so that's pretty much it, guys. That was my little quick, you know, weekday meal. 
you know, comment down below what you would usually like to eat at a cookout or, you know, just during the summertime when the weather's hot. And yeah, hopefully I see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.